Oh my god, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to another Christmas Vlogmas video. I'm very excited about this one. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be tasting some Christmas food. Cue the Vlogmas intro. I am so, so excited for this video. I did something quite similar last year where myself and Zara tasted five festive Christmas sandwiches and they were delicious. However, this year I am vegetarian, so I'm very intrigued to find out three of, I'd argue, the best supermarkets in the UK currently that are a little bit more luxury. So we're gonna be testing Waitrose, which is just very lovely, <laughs> Sainsbury's and also Marks and & Spencer and they have a fantastic range of vegetarian Christmas food as well as regular Christmas food too. So if you do want to head out to them, you can obviously do online orders or you can purchase in store. So we're going to be trying some delicious food. We've got a Prosecco, a mince pie, a Christmas pudding, some kind of party food and of course a Christmas sandwich. So it's five things from three of the best retailers in the UK, I would say. I'm very excited. Zara is gonna be doing all of this because I am blind taste testing. So I've got a festive mug of water here. Zara has been out and bought three lots of the same thing from Sainsbury's and also Marks and & Spencer's and Waitrose. So we're gonna be trying it all on camera. I have absolutely no idea what is from where. I'm just gonna give my honest opinion and verdict on what I think is the best so you guys can save yourself some money and not make any Christmas blunders and buy the best for the festive season. So, what are we starting with? I think a little festive drink. Okay, we're gonna kick off with Prosecco, which is exciting. So Zara has decanted three of these Proseccos. I will start by saying Marks and Spencer's was the most expensive. It came in at 15 pounds. The cheapest was Sainsbury's at 10. I think it was like nine something, and Waitrose with mid-range, so here we go. But all of these products are kind of like mid-price, so nothing too fancy, and they're all own brand. Okay. One more. I'm very excited. We're filming this as a midday lunch in November. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, you, obviously, we've got some stickers. Oh, sorry. The light might change a little bit throughout this video, which is a little bit annoying, but we've got some stickers here with the actual brand underneath, so. But I don't you know. can't see them through I can't the see glass. Them. Exactly, right, I'm gonna take a sip of this one. Cheers. Is there Cheers. enough for you to have a glass afterwards as well? There's lots of Prosecco. Great. I'm not driving today. Okay. That's nice. It's a bit bland. See, that had the biggest pop to open. That's tasty. It's a bit bland. It's a bit like, mmm. So yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I don't, something about, uh, don't get me wrong, it's a really lovely glass of Prosecco. I just feel like it's a bit light. I love a really dry one. So I'm not, I'm not the biggest, like I'm not blown away. Okay, this is Prosecco number two. Chin chin. That's nicer. That's really nice. It's a bit more dry. It's got more of like a, Sorry, that's a really horrible noise. I prefer that, that's definitely delish. Interesting. Mm. Right, so third and final Prosecco, here we go. I mean, what a job. Ooh. Right, that's the, that's the most, that's the most different out of all of them. It's not as dry as I usually would, but I think I like that one the most. Okay, what do you think that is? I think that's Waitrose. That's m &S. Stop it. That's the cheapest. Prosecco? Yeah. I thought Waitrose Prosecco, I knew the taste of it. m &S? no way. Uh-huh. And this is the cheapest Prosecco? Out of the ones we bought How yet. much was, was this? the smallest. I think oh. this one was four. That's delicious. It's, it's quite a light Prosecco. The one you weren't so keen on yeah, is I thought Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Oh, that's but a that shame. But that had the biggest pop. Yeah, it's just a bit... It's just a bit meh. Nick. Like, I'm not really blown away by it. Okay. And this one I did like. I did. If I was going to go for like a classic Prosecco, Waitrose, of course. I feel like that's why I like this one, but I think this you is the most it. different. I've never had M&S Prosecco, but I think... That especially in a cocktail, like try that. Okay. Sorry, Zara's gonna get involved in this as well. Isn't that quite Did we tasty? we have this on the common in the summer? Maybe we have had it, I feel like that's we've had nice. a lot. So Prosecco, that's one win to m &S. Next, we're gonna move on to sandwiches. I do love a good sandwich. I love how I'm keeping this. I'm gonna drink it throughout the video. So you've got, oh, let's bring them in. Bring in the sandwiches! <laughs> this is so much fun. Okay, again, I have gone for three vegetarian sandwiches. I don't know what Zara's chosen. I just said, as long as they're veggie, I don't mind if they're like meat alternatives, cheese, traditional, a little bit not classic. Um, we've got three lovely sandwiches here. You've got two brie and cranberry. They're okay. the end two, so they're exactly the same. Okay. 
And then you've got a meat alternative. I think it's supposed to be turkey. But they're all festive sandwiches. All festive okay. sandwiches. Okay, so we're gonna go in for taste test number one. Okay, so this is sandwich number one. This is the meat-free alternative. So I don't really know what's in it. It's lovely bread, very nicely filled. Yeah. Very spongy, smells delicious. Let's go on for a taste. Oh, oh my gosh, God. really? Mm. Doesn't it taste like turkey? And stuffing. I think it's a turkey, and it's a turkey, like a full turkey, it looks like turkey. It's a lot less dry than turkey. I'm a big fan of that. In fact, I think that's probably one of the best Christmas sandwiches I've ever had before. I'm not the biggest lover of turkey, so that is delicious. Taste test number two, this one is cranberry and brie. The bread is really nice and spongy and it looks very well full of brie, which is always good. So let's go in for the taste test. That brie, good lord. That brie is so oozy and the, the cranberry is just really fruity. It's not too much cranberry, which I'm a big fan of. I think I prefer this one for sure, just cause it's got more of a, like a Christmas taste to it. We're gonna go in for the third sandwich. This one looks very similar, very well made. It's got a really generous helping of stuffing in there, which is obviously brie and cranberry. Right. Going for a taste. I was just bringing in some more hot options. So this is the third and final sandwich. Again, brie and cranberry looks very nice. A little bit less brie in this one. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. It tastes how you exactly want a brie and cranberry sandwich to be. That is delicious. Right. What's your favourite? Personally, my favourite is this. What's this? That's MS. Are you joking? Dead plant range. That's two to MS. MS, plant range. I've heard great things about Marks and Spencer's vegetarian and vegan food. We don't shop there because it is it's quite expensive, but big fan of that. Wow. Okay, Eminence. In terms of comparing brie and cranberry, I like this one the most. That's Waitrose. Is it? Yeah. Oh my God. Why have I got such expensive tears? <laughs> is it really? Oh my God, it is Waitrose. It just tastes like proper creamy brie. This was yeah. nice. This one was really nice, don't get me wrong, but this, the bread, oh. The next one we're going to try is kind of like a Christmas party food. Now, this was really tricky because Zara said that each store didn't have the same thing, which is actually quite good to show some variants. So we've got some arancini here, right? Mm -hmm. We've got some pigs in blankets, which obviously pigs are... Duvets. Pigs in duvets. Pigs that what they're called. Yeah. Pigs in duvets, which I think they're pastry instead of bacon. And this looks like some kind of a creamy lettuce. Goat cheese and caramelized onion tart. Ooh, okay. So very different, but... This is gonna be more of a general comparison of what I actually really do prefer. So let's go on for an arancini. These look really good. I absolutely love an arancini. I think anything like finger food for Christmas is always a winner. Ooh, got some gorgeous oozy cheese in the middle. Smells amazing. Really? Very spiced. Really, are they good? Oh my God. They're delicious. They're so delicious. Really crispy but very creamy. Okay. I'm a That's big fan of that. That's probably because I did them for too long. <laughs> I really, really like them. Next, we're gonna go for the pigs and duvets. Obviously, it's fake sausage, I'm gonna guess, in pastry. Oh my God. Does it taste like sausage? Mm -hmm. Cause it's chorizo. I was just about to say, this sausage they've used is like a chipolata style chorizo taste. It's quite smoky, it's got a little bit of heat to it. The pastry is so flaky, and it's got a bit of an afterkick, like a really big afterkick. I'm a big fan of them. The sausages aren't the best I've ever had. I can definitely tell that they're vegetarian, which is a bit of a shame, but I still really do enjoy them a lot. And I think for inventiveness, that's fab. Right, we're going on to the last one now, which is a goat's cheese and red onion, like a tartlet lattice. So I'm gonna take a bite of this. Mmm, mm-hmm. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to bear with me two seconds. Right, that's very tasty. I'm not, there's nothing not to like about that. It's very safe. Mm. Beautifully crisp pastry. The cheese is so good. I'm not getting any red onion, which is a bit of a shame. Oh. Yeah. Well, caramelized onion doesn't necessarily mean red. I don't really get any caramelized flavor from that at all. It's a oh. beautiful brie pastry. And it's beautifully golden brown as well. That would be really nice as like a Christmas supper. I'm not blown away by it. Okay, so if you're at a party mm. and you use a veggie snack, what would you have? 
I'm gonna go for the arancini balls. Wait, draws. Wait, draws. Mm. No way. Oh my god, okay. Right, they, they are. Oh. Like, please try that. I've just I've used my fork. How good are they? Aren't they delish? Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, guys. It's close second, these. What? Which ones are these? MS. Marks and Spencers. Well done. And these are obviously our Sainsbury's. I'm so impressed. You know what, Marks and Spencers? A credit to you because chorizo is difficult to get right, especially doing a vegetarian chorizo. It's kind of like. You know it's not chorizo. Uh, Try one. No, I'm not. This is two to MS, one to Waitrose. Sainsbury's, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Mmm. Okay, next thing we're moving on to is possibly the most quintessentially Christmas snack you can possibly ever, ever have. It's a mince pie. Some people love them, some people hate them. I personally bloomin' love them. You can get a variety of mince pies out there, guys. Every supermarket does them. They do a wide spectrum. You've gone for something that's kind of like the same price in each, right? Same. Like, I didn't go for any, like, taste the difference, any extras. I right. just went bog standard. Because, like, I know I've read some stuff online that, like, Waitrose are doing a beautiful, like, smoked um, sugar. Um, yeah, taste the difference. I've got, like, an awesome one going on. Slow gins into, like, a supermarket store. But these are, like, kind of, like, the, your entry-level mince pie. First impressions, this one looks... Very gorgeous. Whichever this one is, it looks very nice. I very much appreciate the extra pastry detail. Right, let's go on for a taste. I'm going to take a drink of water. Mm. Right, we're going in for mince pie number one. First impressions, lovely golden crust. Probably the gold most brown out of all of the actual tarts, which is good to see. Nice golden base as well. No soggy bottoms here, guys. Let's cut it in half. Let's see the filling. Okay. It's quite a lot of pastry. See, I prefer a lot of filling, not a lot of pastry. Nice and crumbly though, which is always good. Right, we're going to go the taste test. The pastry is so rich and crumbly, it melts in your mouth. That is a very, very good mince pie. I'm not mad at the amount of pastry. Probably would have it a bit thinner personally, but the crust is absolutely delightful. That started strong. Really? Mm hmm Started very strong. Right. Mince pie number two. This one is the beautiful decoration. I'm again very, very impressed. Slightly lighter in colour. More of a lighter base too. But there's like a sprinkling of sugar on top, which I'm very much here for. See, that's what we're talking about. That is a deep filled mince pie. Do you know what I mean? That, that's crammed with filling. Yeah. I can already tell. That smells boozy. That smells very boozy. That smells boozy and bougie. Uh -huh. That's delightful. Really? Oh my god. That's the one where the smell hit me. I was like, wow. Oh my god. I opened the pack and I just shook. And you don't really like mince pies. Not at all. That is... That's not... Mm, mm. How is that so good? The mince is like jammy mince. Mmm. This is going to have to be pretty special because that's probably one of the best mince pies I've ever had shop bought. This is nice, subtle, like the crimpin. I very much enjoy the star indent at the top. I think that's a nice little touch just to be like, this is a mince pie and you've got mincemeat in there. Beautifully golden brown on the base. Again, very much appreciate that. Cuts well. Not a great deal amount of filling. But for me, a mince pie has to be well filled. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's the sweetest of them all. And I'm kind of not a massive fan, but it's still really good. I think if you were to do, cheers, hip, hip, Merry Christmas. That's a delight, but if you just be cheers, cheers, hip, hip, Merry Christmas, uh-huh, mm -hmm. and then Winner. Winner really? with a chicken dinner. What, is what do you think it is? I'm going to say this is M&S. It's Waitrose. Stop it. Yeah. And what was your second favourite? Waitrose, you buggers. That's delightful. Second favourite, this one. What do you think that is? Sainsbury's. M&S. Are you kidding me? So that's M&S, and then the first one's Sainsbury's. Do you know what? It wasn't It wasn't a bad mince pie. Like, none of these are bad at all. It's just my personal preference. Like, this, you will like that. It's okay. crumbly, it's short, the pastry's rich. This, I just think, is a tad... Touch too sweet for my liking, but if you really enjoy a sweet mince pie, then M&S is your go-to. But for me personally, there's some kind of booze in there that Waitrose aren't playing with, and that is a delight. And I'm going to finish it off. Oh, 
Okay, we're finishing off with Christmas puddings. I was bringing them in. Pudding number one. These were all um, microwavable, right? Yeah. Microwavable Christmas puddings. Again, you can by all means pop some brandy on them, I guess, and like yeah. set them on fire. You probably like that because you hate Christmas pudding. And don't be put off by the look of them, I think. I'm not gonna lie, they all smell very boozy, which is good. Um, we've got one here which is very well formed. I'm a big fan of that. Second one looks a bit more dry, but very well formed. This one looks kind of not as well, but I guess proof is in the pudding. See what I did there? That was really clever. Mm. I am. Right, we're gonna go taste test number one. Lovely, lovely, um, like, formation. Cuts well. Lots of fruit in there. I like that. I feel like it needs more spice. Okay. It's just a bit like, it's nice, but it's not. The thing is with Christmas pudding, you're supposed to have them with something, so... It's all right. I feel like I'm taking this really personally. When you're like, it needs more spice, I'm like, right. I feel like I'm on the Great British Bake Off in a poor way, but you tried hard. And I'm like, oh, do I get a handshake? Oh, this one looks more like it's got something going on. Cuts really well. And um, smells a lot better. Can I say, that one literally fell out of the pot. It was sensational. That has some kind of like nut in there. It's given it a really beautiful texture. It's perfectly spiced, really sweet. And there's a little bit of some kind of alcohol in there. I love that. Really? That's, that's solid 10 out of 10. If that was bigger, I'd probably scoff the lot. Right, I'm not going to go off appearances of this one because I think you might have struggled to get it out of the, the pot. It just all separated as I turned it upside down. It's a bit of a shame. It's, um, it's going for a taste. It looks a lot more dark, so maybe more brown sugar potentially. Or, um, yeah, like some molasses. I don't know. Well, I do enjoy that. Have you ever had a sorine bar? Oh my gosh. You Do you remember them? It's really good, but I'm not sure it's my perfect Christmas pudding. Full of fruit, mind. Absolutely full of fruit. I wasn't enamored with this one. Okay. This is this is definitely better. My personal opinion, this is the winner. Tip that towards me slightly. Yeah. What do you think that is? I think that's M&S. It's Waitrose. Waitrose, of course. They win. It is, yeah, they did. Oh my God, yeah, they do. Three, two, one. Three, two, ne no, none. Was this is a Sainsbury's? No. M&S? Yeah. And this is Sainsbury's? Yeah. Okay, so Sainsbury's came second. That's not bad. I'm just, I don't know. There's something about this that just is really good and the texture is just how it should be with a, um, with a Christmas pudding. Sorry, it's like, it's warm. It's got a bit of like a nut in there, which is always appreciated. It's nice and sweet. It's got the most flavor. This I do like, but I'm just a bit like. It's a saurine bar. It's a saurine, it's like, it's like. Good. It, it just moulds, do you know what I mean? Like, it, there's no crumbliness, whereas this is like beautifully golden. Mm, sorry, I've got my hands involved, that's really disgusting. So wait, this was Waitrose. This was... Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Again, really nice, just a bit non-memorable. And this I probably wouldn't rate at all. M&S, you've got some work to do. There's my verdict. Waitrose is the winner. We are a big fan of Waitrose. Obviously, we do love Sainsbury's and we do love M&S as well. We're not particularly like exclusive with any supermarkets, but for me personally, Waitrose just score that extra step just to really get the best out of every ingredient. And as you'd say, proofs in the pudding, they had the best nibble, the arancini ball, the best Christmas pudding, and the best mince pie. So if that's what you're in the market for, head to Waitrose. If you fancy a lovely Prosecco, go to m and and have a cheeky little sandwich while you're there. And I'm still got a Saint Breeze. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the food's really good. I'm just, yeah, that's a winner for me. Right, we're gonna end it here. Thank you for being my own little independent adjudicator. You're very welcome. I felt like such a glamorous assistant. <laughs> Ding! Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been an absolute pleasure to film. I've really enjoyed this. And the best part of this is we can cut the camera and eat all this for lunch. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Let me know where you're gonna be getting your Christmas food from this Christmas. I always love to know any of the US followers as well. Um, head to your local bougie Christmas store because you're going to be in for a treat. Thank you for watching. As always, if you can give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I'll catch you all very soon in another Christmas video coming probably tomorrow.